I talk about this a lot because as a user, you can see it happen. How many of our patients grabbed a chair when it has an arm rest and white knuckle it on us because they're scared? Mm -hmm. So they're coming into a room that's not scary, number one. You give them a chair with a self-tensioning arm, uh, um, arm sling. Would you like to sit? And you sit that patient back. Thank you for joining us. Can I put your arms down? Yeah, normal. So like, yeah, pretend you're right now. If she has a self-tensioning arm, the feeling of the free fall is reduced, which is where they tell you, I can't be leaning back all the way. Yeah, you can't be leaning back all the way because it's <laughs> like, oh, you're back. So then you take a position that you're comfortable with. And I'm a hygienist, so I'm gonna play hygienist. And in order for this room to turn into a hygienist use, I just need to give myself access to my air water, my saliva ejector. Do you like pictures, Francis? <laughs> oh yeah, no, you can take my photo. <laughs> or my hygienist. You absolutely can, yes, absolutely. And I have my instruments here. I get it, left hand, to move to the right hand. We do that all the time. We do it with, we shouldn't in this country, by the way. In Europe, you're not allowed to switch your fork and your knife. Fine, in this country, we do switch. <laughs> right, we switch our utensils. We switch items all the time. You can still grab with your right to go into the mouth. You can still grab your curing light to take care of your ceiling. And if I did have my patient Sarah converting to a ceiling, I can grab what I need because look at how close my arm is in range. This line fits the shoulder of her patient. It can actually be pushed back a little bit more. I tend to sit in this position, so that's why I want it here. But if I was a hygienist that wanted the 12 o'clock, the here point, the one o'clock position. That's your position as two one-handed, or two-handed, I should say, one person in the room. When you're working with your dental assistant, your position alters and changes. You now want this at the fingertips of the user. So your dental assistant would take that chair position. So we're going to switch. Dr. Bucket, would you like to sit? Sure, absolutely. You mind if I go close behind you? <laughs> oh, I was gonna have you come this way. I was just gonna equalize oh. the space. You're fine. I snuck around. You snuck around. So in order for us to work appropriately, I need to make sure that I'm giving Dr. Huggett some space. I need to make sure that she has her hand pieces on her non-dominant hand. Mm -hmm. If Dr. Huggett should choose to use her dominant hand, it is very subtle. It is on one video of Dr. Hearn. He rolls his chair back, grabs like this. and grabs with his dominant hand. Usually it's your non-dominant to switch over. That's the only con of the system. Yep, and switch the right. I like the rolling back because we all know that these cables, if you're a user, these cables stick to scrubs. Everyone's shaking their head. <laughs> <laughs> so the position we would take would be closer than ever before. Ooh, I like the chair too. Yeah. This is really comfy. So I'm about five inches taller than she is. Go ahead and take proper position for yourself. I don't know how low you'd like to go. Is that your rough area? Uh, rough area, yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll, be here. I'll have one foot on the workstation, and then I'll have one foot on my ring, and then I'll roll myself closer so that I'm able to successfully bring a few things down. Aerosol use, we're going to close that up. we're going to, you know, hook a suction if we needed to. And if I needed to use HVAC, I could put that right between my legs and come through. I can remain in a stand, full stand position and look straight down. I know I'm not holding this 100%. I never worked as an assistant willing to admit. <laughs> but I am close enough to see. And I can always scoop more because our knees are touching. But I have the ability to go forward even further. Yeah. 
So you were saying this side of the card is kind of in line above the top of their head, or what's your this this line? Here. Okay, with your shoulder. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I'm at about a if I'm even worse to turn a little bit. Should I choose not to sit that way? I could even turn in this direction and have it be about waist high for my son. Okay. So you'll see, I, I tend to like to sit this way. That's kind of my hygiene break. But as an assistant, I probably would sit more in this direction as you would be able to grab and work. You'll have hygienists and assistants that are used to their belly bar, so they sit this way. Yeah. They want to sit over here because they want to lean. Yeah. So then they want to put their arm here so they can work like this. And even just thinking about it, my yeah, back aches. Yeah. How comfortable is that chair? Very. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even give you heat or massage because we're at 50 yeah. degrees outside, so it doesn't make sense, but there is a <laughs> massage feature. And then it gets better. So what does she have to stare at now? Remember Dr. O'Brien's conversation about the lighting? Mm -hmm. She gets to stare at a nice TV. We have the ability to dim with these lights. You have your my, migraine patient that comes in. Thank you, Eddie. And I need to be able to do dentistry. Light for me, because you probably wear loops. Light for me, because you probably wear loops. Mm -hmm. sure. See how I keep pointing? You probably wear loops. So who doesn't wear loops in all this? <laughs> and who are you wanting to serve you? <laughs> I swing my arms around and I make, I make a joke about it because we do it to ourselves, right? The industry has done it to themselves where we limit the assistant. I'm gonna throw one more in here. No new associates, you all have been doing this for a while. You're now used to working with others. New associates don't work with others. How do I know? Because they do this. Back up a little bit, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in an office in which you need to turn your chair and you're trying to work with a rear delivery or anything else that's in that room, and that's how you have your chair position, know that I can't see. Not only can I not see, look what I'm forced to do. <laughs> <laughs> they roll their eyes at you. This is your assistant who's mad. <laughs> they're mad at life. They hate coming to work, but they're super excited because pay is awesome these days. <laughs> but I can't serve you like this. I have to constantly, you can stand, but this is the, position that we're trying to avoid by giving you, let's see, Dr. Hagen, could you kick that? Let's see if I can kick it. Oh, yes, I can. Doing this a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now, center to the chair, and it allows us to work together. I'm not taking proper position, but it allows us to be closer. And now I can actually see in the middle. Anyone else want to sit in the chair? Nice. Oh, fun feature for you. Oh, I'm missing it. Disregard. Disregard my fun feature. Some of the rooms in the newer models, button one is on the doctor's side for going back at the shoulder. Button zero is the assisting side. So technically, I don't even have to use my trackpad. Associates can't be lefties if we have a bad, a right, bad system. Right. So see how quickly I can convert this. I'm going to have you back up a little bit. So now as a left-handed user, I'm dependent on my right hand to convert to my left hand for going in. Does that make some sense? We have our computer storage area so you can have your CPU here. You can also have a CPU underneath the grate, and I will open that for you shortly. But where are my supplies? Who's the one that's screaming? Where are my supplies? <laughs> Who is it usually? Hygienist. <laughs> and Frances can say Hygienist. that. Hygienist. she is one. Right? I don't have my stuff. Well, you have your stuff. Clearly identifiable. We know how much supply is there. I have four varnishes. 
I have a 70, I think there are 80%, if not 90% accepted rate on fluoride. They see 12 patients a day, that's short. Day of the week, Friday, they may be reloading <laughs> their bins and tubs today. Yeah. Wipes. We created a wipe holder. If you guys want to go down a little bit of a rabbit hole, this is a slat wall. You can hook just about anything against it to make it functional. The wipes make sense there because you're going to have a faster rain turnover. Are there cabinets to clean? Are there arms that are articulating to clean? Are there tabletops and the little staged cart? Ask me how I know, because the assistant needs a spot. Because the industry failed us. The industry failed us. They created systems that didn't account for all the stuff we use. It's one standard size, little platter. You gotta get your cassette or your tray. Your appointment converts, where are you putting it? You don't have anywhere to put it. This gives you plenty of space and then some. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Oh, that's Wait, cool. there's more, Dr. Huggett or Eddie, pull that one. There's nothing you can't do here. Could this room be surgical? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, could this room be endo? Yes, we can roll it in. And where do we roll in our stuff from? And I say stuff because it's just a fun word. Where do we roll in the technology from? Our mobilization area. And you plug it in. And you get your tray for your cassette for your endo instruments. Big deal, right? Yeah. I'm gonna leave that plugged in. I'm not in charge of cleanup. <laughs> Air abrasion, same thing. 